You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Now, we have a familiar face to Brockton Community Access because we work hard with Julie Lom on uh, Brockton Knox Down, Down Diabetes, diabetes that's right. every year. Mm -hmm. But you work for the Brockton Visiting Nurse Association. I do. You do that as part of your job, but more as a volunteer because you really care about people. Okay. Yes. And yes. It, 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 it affects family members personally, just mm -hmm. like myself. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a diabetic. Mm -hmm. But the Brockton VNA is an over 100 year strong organization, nonprofit. That's it's right. It's a key That's component right. in Brockton. That's right. It's independently standing, too. Um, so we, um, we answer to nobody but ourselves, which is a good thing because we are able to not have to deal with all the red tape and go through lots of rigmarole. Um, we can see what it, we feel is best for our patients and make those decisions in-house. Um, and so that's what's so great about being an independently standing um, visiting nurse association. So, and, and a non-profit. And mm. even though, I mean, health care is one of your biggest costs in life. Mm -hmm. And depending on what you have for insurance. I mean, that's I'm right. lucky both my parents were... One was a state employee, one was a city employee. Mm -hmm. They plan properly with their retirement and with their Medicare and GIC yeah. and all that stuff. Some people don't. I right. mean, if you have a job and you don't have that job anymore, you don't really right. have much right. of anything other, other than Medicaid. Right. But, but you guys can... We, we take through, all payers. You can sift through the red tape and you can put mm -hmm. all the... Syrup. What I've learned mm -hmm. in the past couple of years with my dad being sick, my dad's close to... He's 90, just made 90, mm -hmm. thank God. Um, just all the different OT, PT, That's right. you name it. If someone's confused, mm -hmm. okay, you know, back in the day, Brockton Area Helpline always directed people in the right place, United mm -hmm. Way too, but there's a lot of VNAs out there. There are lots of for-profits. There are a lot of affiliations with hospitals like Steward Group. Mm -hmm. If they want you to have the VNA, they're going to probably give you the Steward Right. So, so what people need to understand about that is that we all have choice as to which visiting nurse association we would like to use in yeah. our homes and for our families. Um, and so just because a certain hospital or medical group is affiliated with a particular VNA and not saying anything against that particular VNA, they could certainly suggest, but you have the right to say yes, I'll go with them, or no, I'd rather go with another VNA that I'm more familiar with or that I want to go with because, you know, I, I've looked up and I've done my homework and I see that they have better outcomes. Mm -hmm. um, so we all have choices. VNAs um, w work with all payers, so luckily um, most all payers do cover home care because home care is really where patients do best. Mm -hmm. um, patients tend to do better in their own familiar environments. Um, and it's a lot cheaper than hospitalization. And mm -hmm. so um, most payers do pay for um, home care, and home care has some really great outcomes. Um, so, Interesting question. I don't know the answer to this, and I don't know if maybe I should. My dad's also affiliated. He gets some of his care from the VA. He mm -hmm. didn't do that before. He's 90 years old. He waited till he was 88 to ever mm -hmm. talk to them. Mm -hmm. He said, I don't need it. I don't deserve it. I said, excuse me, yeah. you served in World War II. Of course you deserve right. it. So this service, but do you guys work with the VA as well? Absolutely. So we have we have patients that are um, VA patients but are sent to us for home care. Mm -hmm. And VA also has a home care entity themselves as okay. well. Um, but yes, we do have um, uh, quite a few patients that are VA patients, Veterans Administration patients on our caseload currently as well. So walk me through, someone goes to the hospital, mm -hmm. I, I don't know what kind of ailment yeah. they would have, and it, well, what happened, the, the social worker that is on the yeah, floor usually it's is the, the case one manager. that, case manager that yeah. refers you to, to the VNA. Right. So with the choice, mm -hmm. Hopefully they're telling everybody his choice. That's his, right. His Hopefully like they list. are. Okay. That's right. But um, let's say, okay, they said call the Brockton VNA. Mm. Where does it go from there? How does it all work? Yep. So, so um, it could be a hospital that makes the referral. It could be a, a skilled nursing facility. It could also be your primary care physician okay. um, that makes the referral. But the one stipulation is that the patient that is referred to a visiting nurse association in most cases needs to be what we call homebound. Mm -hmm. um, and homebound just means it doesn't mean that you're you know you're stuck in your bed and you can't get out of the bed and you can't leave the house at all. It just means that you have more of a difficult time getting up and around and leaving the home when you want to leave the home. For example, you. Might 
might need the help of um, a family member to take you food shopping. Um, mm -hmm. you, you know, you're not you're not going out to play bingo on a routine basis and going out to eat on a routine basis, um, things like that. So mm -hmm. the case manager, if, if, if the patient was hospitalized, usually the case manager will um, speak with the doctor and the doctor will say, yes, you know, I think that this patient will benefit from visiting nurse association. And the case manager should then meet with the patient and the family and say, look, um, these are the various VNAs in the area. Do you have a specific VNA that you are familiar with that you'd like to go with? Um, and then the referral is made to that particular VNA. Once the VNA gets the referral, um, we get all the necessary paperwork and things that we need. We then call the patient and we schedule a visit, usually within 24 mm -hmm. to 48 hours max. Um, we're out there to see the patient for their very first visit. We do an admission. And at that admission, if the doctor didn't spe specify that he wanted nursing and physical therapy and occupational therapy, speech, whatever, um, when our nurse goes out there to do the admission, she will do a very complete exam and then decide, um, you know, will the pe patient benefit from physical therapy or occupational therapy? And she can put those orders in by calling the doctor's office and mm -hmm. getting those in. So various specialties um, can be seeing the same patient um, at the same time. Yeah, they're pretty so. mobile there. They get the cell phones, they get the little computers yeah. with yeah. them. Yeah. Because everything's becoming more electronic That's and less right. paper. That's right. And, um, you know, sometimes those that, those are the only points of contact that the people have. That's now. right. So let's say That's their right. family, kids have moved away, mm -hmm. mom and dad is still here, but, mm -hmm. you know, someone's in New York, someone's in Florida, That's someone's right. someplace else. But That's right. these people are these like people the life savers. That's right. They depend upon us. And you're absolutely right. You know, life is so mobile nowadays. Many of our employees really don't even need to come into the office. You know, everything is done over the Internet. They sync their assignments on their computers so they know who they're going to be seeing that day. Um, so, you know, they're not always in the office, but you're absolutely right. A lot of times the visiting nurse staff is the point of contact for that patient and that patient really looks forward to the visits. Um, so it is really important for us as visiting nurse association staff to keep in close contact obviously with the patient, but the patient's family and tying things together with the physician and mm -hmm. specialists and, and everything else that we need to do. So we're sort of like, you know, coordinate all of those, um, all of those visits together for that patient. How big is the Brockton VNA these days? How many employees? You're, you're over, yeah. is it 500 Belmont? It is, or? it's 500 Belmont Street. Um, so I want to say that we have about 100 nursing staff. Mm -hmm. um, and then on top of that, we have physical therapists, speech and occupational therapists as well. Um, so, you know, again, I didn't, I, I, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but I'm going to say we're between one and 200 um, clinicians mm -hmm. strong. Mm -hmm. um, we are able to see patients 24-7 mm -hmm. um, so that if a patient is not able to get to a, um, a doctor's office or they're not feeling well and it's 10 o'clock at night, um, rather than calling 911 for something that's non-emergent, right. they could call the Brockton Visiting Nurses. We answer the phone and if we need to send out a nurse at 10 at night or two in the morning, we're able to do that. I didn't know that. Yeah, absolutely. 24-7 okay. care. That's good to know. Yeah. Phone number, website, uh, Jay gave me the one minute cue, so you and yeah. I could talk for days. Okay, so yeah, absolutely. So so the phone number for Brockton Visiting Nurses is 508-587-2121. Yeah. Um, and the website is brocktonvna.org. Mm -hmm. Um, I am the diabetes education manager, so chances are if, if the person is homebound and has diabetes, either myself or my colleague Diane will be seeing them. We have an American Diabetes Association recognized education program um, as well. So we've got a lot of specialties we'll at Brockton VNA. We'll bring you for that one. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll wrap that into awesome. BKKD. Awesome. So Julie, thank you for doing thank what you, you do. Thank you, Mark, very much. On. Thanks. Uh, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces here in the City of Champions.